tell you something, man. Let me tell you something, man. You know what I mean? Praise your Lord. Praise God. You know what I'm saying? Whatever way you want to look at it, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you people something. You know what I mean? When my family came to America, we all lived in, what was it? My uncle, my cousin, my uncle, my cousin, uh, me, my brother, you know what I'm saying? My grandmother. So it's five people living in a one-bedroom apartment. You know what I'm saying? This is where we came from. You know what I'm saying? My mom and my grandmother was working together to basically pay the rent. My uncle was working too. You know what I'm saying? See, we didn't have nothing when we came to America. You know what I'm saying? Like, my parents didn't have nothing. They were all struggling. My mom was struggling. You know what I'm saying? Listen. They prayed to God. You know what I'm saying? They went to church. You know what I'm saying? They prayed. They prayed. You know what I mean? They worked hard at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Now, my mom, she has a, what, she's a, she got a master's degree, what, doctorate's degree, you know what I'm saying, she's a teacher now, you know what I'm saying, you know, my mom is definitely traveling all around the world, you know what I'm saying, and she praised God, and everything she did, she praised God, you know what I'm saying, so my mom, she had a different uh, selection of the way she wanted to go, you know what I'm saying, she was in the church, and she still is in the church, she still goes to church, you know what I'm saying, so for my mom, she basically praises God, you know what I'm saying, to the best of her ability, and look at her today, you know what I'm saying? That's where my mom's at to this day. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't ask for nothing. You know what I'm saying? My dad, he's a minister. You know what I'm saying? My dad came from nothing. He came from La Plaine, the slums. You know what I'm saying? Yes, his father was a voodoo priest. You know what I mean? But my dad took another direction. He went to church. You know what I'm saying? And he became a minister. He's a, still, he's a minister to this day. You know what I'm saying? So for those of you who want to say, oh, you know, ministers and this and that, you know what I'm saying? My dad has done a lot for Haiti. He's been, he's built schools, he's been ho built hospitals, you know what I'm saying, clinics, you know what I'm saying, so at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, we come from a very, uh, we come from a very humble background, and we made it, my grandfather, he didn't have nothing, and he bought acres of land, and basically dedicated the land to the law, you know what I'm saying, now let me explain something to you guys out here, you know what I'm saying, let me tell you, my mother, she worked for everything she had. My father, he worked for everything he had. Now on my end, people say that, well, your family, they came up, they had, you know, you know, they worked for what they had. What about you, Boko Elmira? You know, did your, did your parents hand you anything? Absolutely not. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely not. I had to work hard for everything I got. Of course, parents are going to be parents, but they get, you know, sometimes you have a parent that, you know, parent that starts to listen. You got to basically, you know, find your way. You know what I'm saying? I left my mama's house. I went on my own. I lived in the slums of Newark, you know what I'm saying? The slums of Newark, New Jersey. I lived in, you know, I lived all around, you know what I'm saying? From being that nigga sleeping on my girlfriend's couch, you know what I'm saying? You know, scratching my nuts, playing video games, not paying rent, nothing. You know what I mean? Trying to live rent free. The, the female telling you, get the fuck out, you ain't, you ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I listen, I've been through all of that shit, you know what I'm saying? To basically sleeping on, you know what I mean? A, uh, you know, a room, renting out rooms and shit, you know what I'm saying? And then from there on, you know what I mean? Sleeping on a box spring with no mattress, you know what I'm saying? Listen, man, you know, listen. I went from female saying you broke as hell, leaving me for the next nigga. Now look at me to this day, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't got to talk, you know what I'm saying? Look at this custom made go. Rolex watch, you know what I'm saying, diamond ring, you know what I'm saying, freaking bracelets out the ass, you know what I mean, I just got one today, you know what I'm saying, so it's not to brag about, you know what I'm saying, what I got, it's to show that, you know what I mean, I remain fervent, you know what I mean, when I got my understanding of the law, you know what I'm saying, when I, be, when I came to maturity, I served them, you know what I'm saying? I went from a time when I didn't have nothing. I was broke as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like broke as fuck, like literally broke as fuck, like damn, yo. And when I started connecting with the law and being on my dean with the law, serving them faithfully, I started seeing doors and opportunities opening. You know what I'm saying? Doors and opportunities. Motherfuckers are getting fired on a construction job while I'm the only one there. You know what I'm saying? Everybody getting laid off, you know what I mean? Motherfuckers like dying and fucking falling off of like from great heights and construction jobs and I'm fucking survived and I survived you know what I'm saying listen man you know what I mean I went from basically ba uh, from certain jobs you know what I'm saying saying that they didn't want me to basically jobs trying to promote me as super, uh, supervisor or foreman you know what I'm saying all because I remain fervent in my in my meditation no you know what you know what not meditation but fervent in my practice you know what I mean serve the law faithfully you know what I'm saying
Listen, man, you can't do anything in this world without basically giving praises to the to higher powers. You know what I'm saying? Listen, whatever path you work in, you know what I mean? If you if you basically a, a Muslim, get on your dean, make your salat, you know what I'm saying? Whether you're a Christian, go to church, make your prayers from the bottom of your heart. Whether you're a voodoo, serve the law faithfully. Everybody praises God in their own way. So with that said, this is the message from Walk on Thank you guys for watching.